It's dark and cold outside, so I decided to record some tutorials. Hi, it's Mike from Casefile. Casefile presents. I'm releasing videos on podcasting, so if you enjoy them, please hit the like button. I'm working on a new Casefile presents show. This will be released in 2022. At the moment, I'm working on a dialogue clips, cleaning them up, prepping them for scoring for mixing, and I want to create a few tutorials how I go about uh, working with different issues. Now, some of the parts of the dialogues of the interviews were recorded outside. And besides the sort of usual noises, cars passing, wind, planes, or whatever, which are fine, they don't necessarily intrude as much, we have birds and bird noises, and some of them are kind of loud, are kind of annoying. So in this short video, I want to play you some and then show you a few methods how I would go about cleaning them. So let's jump to RX9 Advanced, which is what I'm using for when working with dialogue and see what we can do. I'm, I got my Sony MDR uh, Sen5 06 headphones, which are amazing for editing because you can hear a lot of details on them. Not great for mixing or um, if you do a bit of mastering though. Okay, so let's listen to the uh, dialogues first. The point being that if you're innocent, you don't want that to happen. Not in... It was an extraordinary meeting. The, I think he saw me as, as a life raft and was... As you can clearly hear, there are some birds on that dialogue. Now, what I usually do with the dialogues, with podcasting, um, I run a module chain for uh, that, that sort of the click, the noise, the S, things like that. You've got to be careful with it because it's kind of a heavy-handed approach to cleaning dialogues. But if you got a few of these modules with soft settings, you will speed up the workflow massively. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just we'll scrap that. Let's just focus on what we can do with these original clips and with these um, bird noises. So there's a module that I not discovered, but I've used extensively on this uh, particular project called the Russell. Now, I've used a lot of dialog isolate. I've used spectral repair. And I just couldn't get it right with, um, there's some other things as well that we, that I'm dealing with, like rustling of the clothes and stuff. But I found that the rustle work, works extremely well on dialogue recorded outside. So for example, we got you don't want this. Um, if I select this bit, and just hit the rustle. It may not work though. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It cleared, as you can see, it cleared some of these bird noises. Not all of them though. And then, um, yeah, so we can run that in between dialogue. That's what I've been doing. Cleaning a little bit because if you select it with the dialogue, it will affect some other noises as well. Then what we can do is if we have ambience, um, so for example, we go into ambience match and then uh, hit learn, we can do complex and that sort of creates this looped version with the bird noises, as you can see here, or static. But if you're innocent, sorry click learn, and it, cl it creates this sort of background noise without the tonality in it, only the hiss, so to speak. Um, so I've got ambience match under my letter A on the keyboard. So now if I want to completely get rid of these bird noises, I can hit A and just sort of um, get rid of them, right? Being that if you're innocent, you don't want that to happen. So they're completely gone. The other thing that you can do 
is now it depends if you want to leave them in or not because if you want to leave them in and have them but very quiet just to keep the atmospherics in then again you can use try to use the rustle to sort of make it lower in volume you can use spectral repair attenuate and this is um the shortcut for that is my button e on keyboard so i'm using keyboard shortcuts and when we sort of start selecting this bit and as you can see i'm getting rid of this sort of massive volumes of these birds and i can hit it several times if we listen to it you don't want that to happen not so there is still a little bit of that not in if you want to keep the atmospherics right and the last bit is of course uh, the bird noises on the actual dialogue now we can use sort of multitude of things here depending how um, intrusive is on the dialogue so let's say we got this bit you don't want that to happen it's you know on that bit that bit and a little bit here it's kind of annoying if we select it all and hit the rustle it doesn't really work does it if we select it and hit a which is ambient smudge it's fine but you're essentially cutting off bits of dialogue so the other thing would be uh, use replace which is again under spectra uh, not spectral recovery sorry uh, under spectral repair and replace and the render i have shortcutted under q button so i am operating with a q e and then uh, w as well and the other ones are for zooms so i have everything under my keyboard shortcuts so I've remember Q is for replace on the spectral repair. Now we need brush and brush is B on our keyboard shortcuts. And we can select it with that or if you hold it, um, then you can sort of make the brush size a little bit less if you want to. I think this one's fine. So by holding shift, we can get rid of all of them at the same time. So we start painting over the um, these sort of bird noises that we can, that were annoying, and this one's annoying as well. And then when I hit, hit Q, um, I used replace. You don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen. So now, as you can hear, you don't want that to happen. And then, you don't want that to happen. As we cannot hear that sort of higher. You don't want that to happen. There you go. And um, there's a couple more here that we could, you know, get rid of as well. You don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen. Right. So these are just a few strategies that could work. Um, so again, de Russell. Ambience match with correct ambience, spectral repair, we can use attenuate, we can use replace. Remember to use your keyboard shortcuts. Clips like that, they do require a lot of work, a lot of manual labor. So what I usually would do is I do a first pass, clean it as much as I can, but I don't really dwell on it too much. And then when I move on to next stage, would it be uh, scoring or mix or something else? If I feel like what's still left there is still too intrusive, annoying, then I go back and spend a little bit more time on details. We don't want to have it completely sterile, we want to leave a little bit of that, especially when a person's outside, but again, you don't want to have this sort of high frequency annoying sounds um, in your ears um, when you're listening, when other people are listening. But yeah, so that's it for today. I'll have another couple of these short tutorials, uh, or maybe they're out already. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, and I'll see you later.